Calder. Good morning. Is this the famous Johnny Mathis? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just uh, uh, telling uh, one of the technicians here that uh, my little brother Michael's middle name is B.B. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> he must be a fabulous person. I know. He is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will share that, Mr. Mathis. I really appreciate that. Uh -huh. And I let you know that you're live here in Dallas, Texas on the Delta BB show. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I got your CD, and I wanted to talk so many things I would love to ask you. But I wanted to ask you, you've got this new CD, you're a legend, and now you have all these other legends on this CD. I thought that was pretty awesome. Well, you know what? Over the years, I was mentioning it to someone the other day. I've sung with so many people, and sometimes they don't get credit on the album because, uh, oh, I don't know. But I've, I've sung with extraordinary singers. Uh, the one that comes to mind is Denise Williams, who used to do backups for Stevie yeah. Wonder. And uh, yeah. she, she is a, a, a great artist in her own right. And sometimes uh, they don't get credit, but, uh, but yeah, we, we give them all credit on my album. Billy Joel, let's see, Natalie Cole, Jim Brickman, who wrote the title song, Sending You a Little Christmas, Gloria Estefan, the Jordanaires, a wonderful group from bygone days, uh, and Vince, yes. Vince Gill and his wife, Amy Grant, yeah. I think that was just so awesome because it's so contemporary. And I know you, we still have to market to uh, a current public, but someone with a long career that you have, it expands longer than any of those people on your uh, uh, album, except maybe the Jordanaires. I don't know. They've got a pretty long history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they might have you be neck and neck with you to bring together this extraordinary talent to do something so wonderful for Christmas, because I think Christmas is a holy holiday, and to do something this wonderful makes all these people extraordinary. Well, you know, uh, my dad and my mom made Christmas so special for us. I got six brothers and sisters. Uh, we, uh, we were a large family. We, uh, uh, we weren't poor, but we didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't know it. <laughs> we didn't know it, yeah. <laughs> and that's what Christmas does, I think, to a lot of people. They, they forget about the, that and just go with the whole thing, yeah. Well, you know, Christmas is not Christmas without some of your music playing in the background. It sets the mood. It sets the tone. Uh, I've been, you know, it, people will put it on just before the guests walk in the door so that they will have this ambiance. <laughs> Your music gives that kind of ambiance. What kind, what do you feel about Christmas? Well, it's, you know, what you just said is the greatest tribute I've ever had in my life. Uh, along the way, I've recorded uh, a lot of music uh, that has been special in my estimation. Uh, I was raised uh, rather religiously, and over the years, uh, I've gone to a lot of uh, different churches, synagogues, and I recorded, uh, you know, some uh, Christmas music, uh, some uh, religious music, uh, things that relate to uh, the way I was uh, brought up as a kid. I started studying voice with a lady uh, at the age of about 13, and I studied with her for a very long time. And that's the fundamental basis of my abilities at this time, is because of the early studying that I did with her. And all of this, uh, these types of music that I've done over the years, including the uh, Christmas that is so special to me, uh, is because of the input from this wonderful lady that I studied with. Well, it is special. And I have gone to service at a synagogue, and I could see your music being so complimentary because it is like a festival going to a synagogue service, I'm telling you. You know that. Yes, yes. Um, it's, uh, I, I grew up in San Francisco, and two of my best buddies uh, were on the basketball team with me, Jerry and Stan Rosenberg. And, uh, of course, I hung out with them. Uh, sometimes they would go with me to... Uh, choir practice at my church, 
uh, and sometimes I would go to them uh, with them to temple and, uh, and talk to uh, the cantors and uh, listen to this extraordinary singing that they did and it stayed with me and uh, over the years uh, I recorded uh, the Kol Nidre, Eli Eli and uh, a few other things uh, also uh, in Hebrew. What, what, what a wonderful explanation or inspiration for people to know to get out of your comfort zone of your church, your life, your family, and explore the world. And, and, and that's what people don't do enough. And I, don't, I think people would be, they would be so much, what do I want to say, they would be so open if they had such diversity in their life. Not planned diversity, just diversity. <laughs> Yes, uh, your your horizons broaden when you when you let uh, different uh, people into your lives. Uh, you 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 certainly blossom as a person, as a human being, and it has certainly been my uh, my experience over the years that all of the influences uh, in in my career and in my personal life have been because of some extraordinary people. Some people very not extraordinary, and some people just ordinary people uh, that I've met and have influenced me over the years. And, and I've, I've utilized a lot of uh, the learning that I've had uh, meeting different people over the years. And some of it's shown up in my music. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the influences that I had, for instance, musically, people like Nat King Cole, Leontine Price, all these uh, people in the jazzers like uh, you know, Billy Eckstein and uh, people like uh, Errol Garner who wrote that wonderful song, Misty. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's all a, a, a wonderful experience, but you have to have an open mind, yeah. <laughs> and an open heart. I, I'd like to wrap up with what do you want us to get from this CD? I know a little bit of how you feel about Christmas, what do you want the, the listener to get from your CD experience with Johnny Mathis and I'm going to say all your friends? Uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's a matter of uh, making sure that you participate in the experiences in your life. Uh, get involved uh, with Christmas. Get involved uh, with the, the people who, uh, who make it so special. Uh, somehow, some way, uh, get involved, and uh, it'll make you happier. I know it will. Well, Mr. Johnny Mathis, you have been our Christmas gift to our listening audience here in Dallas, Texas, on the Valda BB Show. This is such a wonderful gift to give my audience, having them to hear directly from Johnny Mathis and make him hear you more if they get your latest CD. I know it's available at all the usual suspect places, like I say, wherever CDs are sold. But I, today, Mr. Mathis, I'm giving away one copy of your CD. If they go to valderbbshow.com, click on email Valder and put in Johnny Mathis, I will give away one copy of Mr. Mathis' CD, so you better hurry. Mr. Johnny Mathis, thank you so much for making our holiday just so memorable. I really appreciate that. It's and you will be playing at my house. You will be the star attraction. How about that? Hot. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mathis, thank you, and I wish you and your family the best that life has to offer and continue being exceptional as you are. Thank you so much.